Hey there, in this video I want to do a quick demonstration of how to use the FB Fire event add-on and what it is, what it does. Um, and so uh, what this does is it's intended to allow you to actually uh, fire a Facebook Pixel event uh, based on the click of an element on a page. So uh, for example, say I, on this button I want to fire a Facebook purchase event and pass it across 12 US dollars as the purchase value. I can do that pretty easily. I go to uh, set up my button and I pass in a name and an amount and a currency and that I want to fire a purchase. And so um, the instructions will go through exactly how to set that all up, but uh, that's what I want to have happen. I want to pass over a purchase event with 12 US dollars as the currency. And so I've got the Facebook, uh, the, the FB Fire event add-on installed on this page. And um, so I, if I go and preview this page, and I've got little, my little pixel helper installed here on this page, I've got my Facebook pixel already installed on the page. We can see right off that we've got uh, three uh, events that have fired. It, um, micro data automatically detected. Okay, that's great. Page view and view content. Okay, but now I want to, and I've got this button disabled as uh, submit right now just for this testing. But if I were to click on this button, um, and then I go back and look at my pixel helper. Now we can see there's actually been a purchase fired and the purchase has a value of $12 in US dollar currency. So um, you can use this with any of the standard Facebook pixel events. Initiate checkout, add to cart, subscribe. Uh, you know, there's all kinds. There's like 18 different uh, Facebook standard pixel events. If you just do a Google search on Facebook standard uh, events, then you'll find all the documentation on that. So you can fire any of those. Uh, and for those ones that accept uh, values like this, uh, a, a dollar value and a currency, then you can pass that in as well. You don't have to. Uh, a lot of them don't don't allow that sort of thing. Uh, but the ones that do, you can pass that in as well. So that's what the FB Fire event does. Uh, it's really most useful and uh, most often going to be used when you want to actually uh, fire like an initiate checkout uh, fire and add to cart um, when somebody is on a sales page and they want to click a button uh, to go to an order form you might want to fire an add to cart event you might want to fire an excuse me an initiate checkout event and so that's what the add-on does and hopefully you find it useful and put it to good use